Hi again, it's Greg Hughes with another 90 second website builder video tutorial. I want to talk to you about something that works sort of behind the scenes in 90 second website builder that will help you when it comes to designing your website, making it look its best. You may have noticed in the uh, set of tools in the toolbox, some objects here that we call jQuery UI. UI stands for user interface. These are jQuery objects. Now jQuery is just a programming language that these objects are made with. And jQuery is great for making websites. It's one of the development tools you can use for making a website. It makes your site just look really uh, sophisticated and actually up to date. A lot of uh, interactivity and even sort of animation with your uh, website can be done with using jQuery objects. And there's lots of different kinds of jQuery. These are pre-built jQuery objects that you can just drag and drop into your website. But there's something unique about these features that are different than the other tools in 90 Second Website Builder. These all have something in common, besides the fact that they have the word jQuery in front of them. What they have in common is the way they pick up their style. Now, most of the time when you want to style something, in other words, uh, change the look of an object in 90 Second Website Builder, like say an image, for example, you would double click on that image. Like I have an image up here I'm using as a banner. So if I double clicked on it, I would bring up the image properties and I could affect the way that image operates, the way it looks with these features. But with jQuery, it's different. A jQuery object, while it does have its own properties, it picks up its look from a different place. It picks up its look or its layout actually from the page itself. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to drag one of these jQuery objects out onto the canvas here. This one's called the jQuery Accordion. And I'm just going to drag it out. Now you notice that this jQuery Accordion has a particular look. It has this, these particular colors and shading and these particular fonts. Now the reason it chose these when I just drug one out here is because it's picking this look up from the page theme. And you may notice up at the top of this page, I have another object here. This happens to be a jQuery object as well. This is a jQuery tabs object. And you notice these two look the same. They have the same sort of style. That's because both of them are picking this up from the page. In fact, I have a third jQuery object on this page. And it's this right here. It happens to be called the Mega Menu. And if you were to look at the styling of this, you would see it matches the other jQuery objects on the page. So how does it know to do that? Well, let me show you. I'm going to go to the page properties and I can do that by right clicking on a blank area of the page or I can also just go up here to page and page properties. And you'll see that this page has a tab called style and one of the styles at the very bottom is called the jQuery user interface theme. This particular theme or this particular look will apply to every jQuery object on the page. The one I'm using happens to be called Pepper Grinder. Now I can change that because here are little thumbnails here. Here's the one I've got going. But there are thumbnails of other pre-built themes that I could change to. In fact, if I choose one like this called Trontastic, click OK, watch what happens. All of the objects on my page that are jQuery objects have now changed the way they look because these three objects are picking up their style from that page theme. Seems simple enough, doesn't it? Well, it really is. Let me show you a couple things about the page theme though. I'm going to go back up here to the page menu, click on page properties, go to the style tab, and you can see our theme is listed. But you may have noticed there's a button here called the theme manager. This allows me to manage these themes in a really great way. One, I can click a theme and I can edit it. I can change the way that theme is going to look. Or I can make my own theme. And sometimes I'll make a theme by copying an existing theme and then editing it into my own style. Here's what it looks like when you edit a theme. I'm going to click on black tie and click the edit button. And you can see this gives me sort of a preview of what the theme is going to look like. All of these are the settings, the colors, the fonts, what happens when you hover over something, borders, everything you can imagine is decided in this style here. You have a lot of different decisions to make. And then this is a preview of those particular looks. So this is the black tie theme. I'm going to cancel out of this because sometimes when I make a theme of my own, I don't want to necessarily edit one of these pre-built themes. I'd like to keep them. So what I'll do is I'll take a theme that I like and make a copy of it. And then from that copy, I'll go in and edit and make changes. Now I've already done that down here. I copied a theme that I liked and then I decided to edit it. And then I changed the name of that theme to black wire hosting. It's a jQuery user interface theme that I use on the Blackwire hosting website. 
let me show you what it looks like. Click Edit. So I made it look like this. By changing all of these attributes, you can see that these colors and fonts are all represented over here in the preview. And then when I was done, I named this theme Black Wire Hosting so I can use it elsewhere in other projects and I'll remember what it looks like. But I did that by copying an existing theme, clicking one of these, clicking Copy, and then editing it. You can even make your own jQuery themes at the jQuery Themes Roller website. If you go there, you'll see there's a great interface for designing your own themes. You download that theme and then you can literally import it into 90 Second Website Builder. That's why this Import button is here. So you don't have to just live with these themes. You can make your own at the website or you can copy these and make your own here. Here's another one that I made called Blackwire. And again, this was the copy of one that existed. I just changed it a little bit, added the colors I wanted to use, and called it what I wanted to call it. The point is, you can make your own jQuery themes that apply to entire pages of your website. I'm not going to talk to you about how every jQuery object works because I have separate videos for each of these. You should know that the jQuery tools are really a great way to add sophistication to your website. Just know that the way they look is going to be coordinated. So when you drag another jQuery object onto your page, it's coordinated with the other jQuery objects because they pick all of that up from the page theme. Also know that each page you make can either have the same theme or you can have different themes throughout your website. But there's only one theme per page and that's how jQuery works to make sure everything looks coordinated and just right. So I hope you enjoy working with the theme manager and the jQuery objects. It's something you can get really creative with as you're building your websites with 90 Second Website Builder.